So long weekend and the weather's gonna blow up a bit today. So we're just sort of out having a bit of a search because we're gonna try to get a queenie or two to uh, make some ceviche before we go for a bit of a land-based fish. That's the plan. We'll see how that goes. But at the moment we've got a bit of glamour weather and I'm just hunting through a known area and I have not marked up really anything at all. The queenies were here. You can just see usually huge mobs of them on the sounder. But the weather's magnif and the sunrise was sensational this morning. So anyway, we'll keep searching. We're still looking we'll get for that queenie, queenie for a bit of... And uh, that last spot was no good. So we've just ducked over here to Brady's Rock. Has a lighthouse on it in the middle of the channel, just north of Groot. This spot fishes all right. Uh, usually for pelagics, you've got to get it on the compression side here. Fish will hold up. And if they're not here, they'll typically be on the other corner or they're not here at all. And we'll just have a bit of a look. See, you can see there as we're mapping it out, it's been a long time. There's a couple of fish marked up mid water. You can just see the separation on the sounder there. It's not heaps of fish there at all, so this could be a bit of a fail and trying to find this queen fish. <laughs> could be harder than at first thought, although that there does stack up to be... All right, so we'll just turn around here quickly. <clears throat> that looks like a whole bunch of fish right on that corner in there and we'll drop in. So uh, set this GoPro up and we'll have a quick go. Righto, so we've just swung around. I'm just gonna drop the uh, vibe in. We'll just see what these fish are. Jeez, it, it, it's marking up heaps. Yep, hits on that. Oh, okay, so a heap of fish just came up there. That's on, that's on, that's on, that's on something. There you go. So if this is a queenie, little queenie, that little trevally, that looks like. So you just took that on the drop. I'll pull this down so you can actually see on the sounder. There's a bit going on up the top there, so we've drifted off, you can see the colour. There, so Kel gets us back around into that area, and then it's going to be fish on. That right, Mishka? Just agree. Yeah, there's a neat bunch of fish down there, you can see. Just go right a little bit. So we're drifting sort of in towards the rock a little bit as we go up here. And you'll see on the sounder, fish are starting to mark up right on that edge. And it's probably a good time. drop in. You have to go out of gear now. Fish. Looks like heaps of fish below us there. You gonna have a fish? Do you wanna drop in or are you skipper in today? There we go. Yeah, come on. Oh, no, that guy had no chance. Hooking the tail. Uh, looks like a small, small big eye trevally. Flick him off. Still marking heaps of fish below us. Drop in again. Vibe. Up. Righto, so we'll just come up, just take it out of gear there, Kel. It just drops right off. Um, and it's marking up huge numbers of fish. Oh, yeah, that's one. Off. On, off, on, off. On, off, on, off. 
Okay, that one there's got a bit more toad than those last couple. Feels very trevally like again. Oh, come up, come up. Be a queenie. Be a queenie. We could be in here. We could be in. We could be in, Mishka. Ah! And on again. There's probably another queenie right behind him. And there he is jumping because he potentially has a shark. No shark, come on, be no shark because that's going to be perfect. Make some numbers, this guy. Let's get some lip grips here. Work there, little fish. You've done the right thing by us. talking about Mishka, the old queenie skinny fish, very common up north, so that's, that will definitely have enough meat on it to make some numbers up this morning when we get up to where we're camping, so it's got him on the grappler, and as you could see from that video, uh, it's pretty quick succession, a lot of fish there too, so We'll get the hook out and I'll show you up on the sounder a little bit more with all the fish that are marking up on it. It's there. There's all that separation. So that's those queenies and trevally that it is loaded up everywhere. All the way. So we aren't far off where we're going to be pulling up and the breeze has definitely picked up now. As you can see, Mishka's onto it as well. Noticeable. We've got the queenie here and we just uh, pull up just tucked out of the way here, just nowhere near where we're going to be camping or where anyone would camp. So as we can just fill up the fish here and we'll just get a bit of meat off this queenie and um, get it ready to make some ceviche when we get in closer. We'll just prep it all up out here, just dispose of everything and um, we'll go through that in a sec. We'll just um, start having a crack. We've already bled the fish out so we'll see what this flesh turns out like. But there's one side of the fish done there's two fillets that are out as you can see there and this is the other guy it's good still got to be done and we just cut all the bloodlines out basically and then we'll um dice it all up into small pieces and um that's gonna be it when we uh get in there right okay. well we're just dicing up all of the fish now and just basically get it all prepped up ready to go there's absolutely blowing a go. We've still got to go a couple of k's that way to where we're going to camp, just getting all this fish prepped up and as you can see just dicing them all up into small pieces like this. This is what's good with the queen fish, it's quite a firm fish. Mishka likes it as well, don't you Mish? Loves a bit of ceviche. So anyway we'll uh, get in and then we'll get the rest of it prepped up and basically that's all we're doing is just getting it all diced up like that. We'll go into a container later with some other ingredients which we'll show you once we get into land, once we've got this all prepped up. Righto, well we've pulled up at one of our favourite little locations and Mishka is run off like she usually does, having a sniff around. But anyway, what we've got to do here is for the ceviche to work, you need to leave it set for a while, right? So what I'm going to do is set all this up, we use this ice cream container. I'm just adding lemon juice and lime juice, just fresh, just crush it straight in, I find that's better to do, just get a whole heap of that in there. We've got jalapenos. We just add all this in, right? Some cucumber, I just use a little Lebanese cucumber, just one of, one punnet of strawberry, uh, strawberries, that'd be funny. Uh, Tommy's, tomatoes, get all those guys in there as well. Because what we'll do is put all this together then we mix it up and then leave it set. I'll have a heap more juice heap of salt, good good amount of salt in there, a little bit of black pepper, look at Mishka, she loves it here in this little spot, it's a cool little location, the wind's blowing a gale today so we we'll tuck in here and we'll do a bit of land based fishing shortly, go a bit of chilli flakes I reckon, isn't just a dash of that, and then we're gonna put in red pepper this stuff goes on everything honestly 
once you have a go of this red pepper, you'll be using it on everything yourself. A fair swag of that stuff. A little bit of olive oil. Yep, sweet. Um, and then it's just a matter of just a heap more lime and lemon juice. And then just mix it all together, chuck it on ice. Well, that's what we'll be doing. And we'll leave it for a few hours. And basically, uh, when we come back to it, the flesh at the moment, you can see sort of it's starting to sort of go a little bit opaque. Bits up the top aren't, that haven't had as much of the lemon or the lime on them. Haven't been exposed to the acid that will basically cook the fish in that so you just leave it like that and then we'll just put the lid on and then we'll go away have go for a walk take michigan for a bit of a run and we'll come back mix it up again put it back on ice get it cold and then with a few um corn chips a couple of beers after a little land-based fish that'll be lunch a couple of beers good to go and i'll tell you what that is a bad right a bit of land-based fishing Cockroach get out. Uh, pies are ready. Gone for a walk over from where we're camping for the night. I'm just using a little a 5,000 Vanford on a PE2 with about 10 pound braid actually. Little uh, yep, soft plastic. And um, as you can see, it's pretty windy. Oh, that's not out there. Um, pretty breezy out there today. So luckily we can just tuck in behind in here and have a bit of an explore around the rocks here and see if anything's doing. There's a little cod just came up in that then. <laughs> there you go, fish right there. So we'll just have a bit of a look here. Gee, that wind, whoa. Bit of breeze in that wind. Fishing those edges, you can see there's a whole heap of bombies in between. Oh, yep, there we go. There's second cast and we're fish on. Get up. You're going to have to rip them hard. Keep the rod tip up. Get in, get in, get in. What do we got here? Little trouter. Have a go at that guy. There you go. Second cast. Little trouter. He's going to grow up and come a little bit bigger than what you are now, mate. But there you Another likely looking spot. Yep, fish. That was a hit's first cast. Nothing really slippery on the rocks here. Um, see that slime? I know from lots of previous experiences. Be very careful. You will go ass up. Come on. Got to be fish hanging in there, surely. Okay. Right along this edge here on the right. Let's work these edges. Yep. Oh. Yep. There we go. Fish on. Get up. Get up. Oh, here we go. Yes. Come on. Come on. What do we got? What do we got in the snags? Here we go. Here we go. Get up. It looks like it could be a good trout. Ah, got it. How's the skip over the top there? Wow. There you go. Another little trouter. Couple of trouters landed. Nice and aggressive. Doing the job. And I'll tell you what, I was lucky to sort of get him in. And you can go back, Bungie. One lucky little trouter. Thanks, mate. Catch up with you. That was along that edge there. Probably worth covering again in case it's a spot that again I'll always say that holds the fish because um, and those trout have got nice big mouths so you and they're very aggressive usually nothing following that there okay I might just dart one in over this side so the water's pretty clear I always think that if the fish are there they're on the chew they're going to just come out and smash it uh, they'll pretty well come out and smash it I reckon these ones in here they're going to have a proper go I only picked up a couple of trouters so far, a few hits and all sorts of stuff like that. But look at that bommie right in the middle there, you'd think that'd just be prime, but there are that many prime little nooks and crannies through here. 
that potentially could be no fish at all even holding on that. Um, so yeah, it's very bizarre. Let's have a look at all the edges and stuff like that all the way around here, hardly fished and you'll still find yourself scratching your head like I do, um, wondering how on earth. But that's why we keep coming fishing. So we'll keep casting. I'm gonna keep working all the way around to that point there. Put a few casts in, see if we can't find that little honey hole that holds a whole heap of fish land based here. So another cast in there and then we'll keep making our way around. See if we uh, can't find something. We've had a tap a fish on that. There's a fish. Oh geez, right there. Still there. I can see him right there. I don't know if I'm gonna get in the bite again. It even might have been an ornate emperor or a little tricky snapper blue bone. I've let that drop a bit. Gotta go right at the end there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well, we'll just keep moving on here and keep searching. Check out all that salt there. Cool. Loaded. Loaded. Amazing. And check out all the some of these random beaches around here on group. This gets so much rubbish and stuff cuttlefish and rubbish just gets swept onto this eastern side it's amazing some of the items that get washed up the rangers do a bloody good job picking everything up doing campaigns see it all the way down up there where the seas just pushed everything unbelievable on I'll put this cast out a little bit wider and the wind is bloody hell that is windy What was that? Big fish right there. Yes, big fish. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. No, get out. Stay out. Don't. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, you. Yes, next problem. Yes, look at that quality trout. Uh, enjoy looking. You're going to get released, Bungie. You can see him follow it up. And how on earth am I? Righto, nothing silly here. Nothing silly. That is a good trouter. Jeez. Quality trouter, and I'm gonna have to dead weight him up somehow. Right, I'm gonna have to wait for a wave here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, Bungie. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna get the braid, and on the next wave, that's it, and then I'm going to have to quickly, come on, where's a bit of swell? And I'm going to have to lift him up and see if we don't snap the line on the way up. Ugh. Well, you'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? That is a good fish. Get the boggers and pliers out here. Wow, happy with that, happy with that. Come here, trouter. Good trouter. Good little trouter. All right, just lay that down there. As you can see, the waves have been crashing up over here. Tell you what, that uh, little soft plastic's done the trick, hasn't it? Let's get a quick photo there. Look at the cool colours. Um, yeah, nice one. Nice one, nice trouter, 
Nice trout off the stones. And I can't believe we got ceviche for lunch. This guy's going back. Look at the awesome colours on this dude. Oh, yeah, right mate, I know. It's your lucky day. Good trouter. Good trouter. Well, very happy with that trouter. That was a solid, solid trouter. Not really the, um, get something a bit bigger and they're just dead weight trying to lift it up here I would be, uh, wouldn't work so well. But I could see him down here following the lure up, which was awesome. Then you could just see him take it right at my feet. Lucky to get away with that one, to be honest. Very lucky indeed. Come on, where are you, Trouter? Righto. Into the wind, let's see if we can't. Still searching for this holy grail. Need the honey hole, where is it? Haven't really found a spot that's going bonkers. Just a few trouters. So you work these edges and no trouter there. You can see the ledges on the other side. Over there, just gotta get into that wind. A low cast like that. Come on. Where are ya? Yep, there we go. Fish on and it's a, uh, might be a little trevally even. Get up, get up, get up. It's silver, doesn't look like a trouter. And it's a stripey, is it? Stripey and it's a stripey. Well, there you go, off the stones, a nice little stripey. That's always a good sign that uh, the system's quite healthy. We'll just have a look at this guy here. Again, Gee, I'll tell you what, that little squidgy's doing the damage. I've only got lost one so far. Little flag, back you go, bungee. Righto, so that's always a good sign. When there's a lot of flag around, there's usually a good sign that there's, they usually school up, that's one thing for sure. But that's a, a, a good spot to know that fish are gonna hold up, so we potentially so just shoot another cast in there. About there. Let that sink a little bit. A couple of little jerks. That wriggler will just work nicely. Let's see if we can't get a two from two. Not, maybe not. I'm not gonna call it just yet. There's a bit of water to go here. Jeez. Also a fair bit of wind in that breeze out there too, just quietly. Just one random stripey or anyway we'll just work this one all the way and i can spot the lure now can't see anything behind it what is that down there i thought i saw something down there ah well 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 looks like we got company he's probably rocked up for the ceviche So I say it's lunchtime. See if these guys will jump on board, have a bit of ceviche and a couple of beers. We'll see how their trip was up here. What a glamour little location we have here today. Come on. Some sort of pelagic just came through, but didn't. Get up, there we go. Get up, get up. Yes. Another trouter. 
another trouter. It's just trouter day. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Here we go. Righto, so hopefully you can see that. Come here. Ah, don't. Oh, yeah, that, that hurt. Thanks, mate. Now I'm going to have to deal with that for the rest of the weekend. Just settle, buddy. You're going back, Bungie. Check out little trout up. Little trouter, thanks for coming, Bungie. Go back. Three votes today. Lasting too, which is nice. Well, we have made it back. People have just rocked up at the right time at the pull up bar. Cannon, beer, if you want. And here's the ceviche just finished off with a bit of avocado on top. And it's just a matter of grabbing some of that goodness and mm. magnif. Coke for summer. This is the service we provide you at the pull-up bar. After a big day on the water. Not really. Bit of land base, still blowing a gale. I'll be in such a suit, you reckon, mate? As I'm stuck my face. Avocado. Yep. Yeah, Abba. <laughs> I'm just going in with yep. I'll be interested to see what you think. That's some good. people don't like it, so but good. some people love it. It's good. It's different, isn't it? Like it? So, do you want me to tell you how you make it now? Now you've just turned up at the. At the right time. Yeah. So, this has been soaking in um, lemon and lime juice for like three hours, four hours. Caught this morning at Brady's on the way here. So you've been slow cooking it this whole time. Yep. Not bad. Slow cooking in here. That's the slow cooker. <laughs> anyway, we'll enjoy that. Thanks for coming along for the ride. If we go fishing after this, it'll be land based somewhere out here maybe. We'll see how we go. Catch you next time.